Ralph Izzard January 1741–1742 May 30, 1804 was a U.S. politician. He served as President pro tempore of the United States Senate in 1794. <laughs> Early life Izzard was born at The Elms, near Charleston, South Carolina. He was the son of Henry Izzard and Margaret Johnson. His great-grandfather was Ralph Izzard (1660–1710), who was born in Dorchester, England, and settled in South Carolina. His maternal grandfather was Province of South Carolina Governor Robert Johnson. Izzard's parents died when he was a small child, and only one of his siblings survived to adulthood. He spent most of his childhood and youth studying in England. He attended a school in Hackney, London, and matriculated as a fellow commoner at Trinity Hall, Cambridge. Izzard returned to America in 1764, but did not remain in South Carolina for long. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Marriage and Children. In 1767, Izzard married Alice de Lancey, who was a niece of James de Lancey and a descendant of Stephanus van Cortland and Gertrude Schuyler. Izzard and his wife had 14 children together, but only seven survived past early childhood. His most notable children were George Izzard and Ralph Izzard naval officer. After Izzard moved to America in 1780 to focus on his work towards the American Revolution, his family stayed in France until 1783 when they joined him in South Carolina. Career He resided in London in 1771 and moved to Paris, France, in 1776. He was appointed commissioner to the Court of Tuscany by the Continental Congress in 1776, but was recalled in 1779. He returned to America in 1780 and pledged his large estate in South Carolina for the payment of war ships to be used in the American Revolutionary War. He was a member of the Continental Congress in 1782 and 1783. In 1788, he was elected to the United States Senate and served from March 4, 1789, to March 4, 1795, serving as President pro tempore of the Senate during the Third Congress. <laughs> <laughs> Death and legacy Izzard retired from public life to the care of his estates in 1795. Within two years of his retirement, he was stricken with an untreatable illness that paralyzed him on one side of his body. On May 30, 1804 near Charleston, Izzard died at the age of 62. He is interred in the churchyard of St. James Goose Creek Episcopal Church, near Charleston. Izzard was one of the founders of the College of Charleston. His legacy was carried on by his children and other relatives. His son Ralph, was a naval hero of Tripoli. The World War II USS Izzard was named after him. In 1808, Izzard married Eliza Pinckney, daughter of Major General Charles Coatsworth Pinckney, a signer of the Constitution, and a granddaughter of Colonel Charles Pinckney, Chief Justice of South Carolina. Ralph's wife was also a niece of Arthur Middleton. A son, Major General George Izzard, was a governor of Arkansas. A daughter, Anne, married William Allen Dees with whom they had a son, the painter, Charles Dees. William's brother was Col. James Sutherland Dees who was the father of C.S. General Zachariah Canty Dees. A daughter, Charlotte, married William Lawton Smith a son of S.C. Assemblyman Benjamin Smith. William L. Smith was also a brother-in-law of South Carolina Congressman Isaac Mott. A great-grandson of Ralph Izzard was Charles Manigault Morris who was also a great-grandson of Louis Morris. A cousin of Charles Manigault Morris was General Arthur Middleton Manigault who was descended from Mary Izzard cousin of Ralph Izzard. A cousin Sarah Izzard married South Carolina Loyalist Governor Lord William Campbell. A cousin twice removed was Elizabeth Eliza Izzard who was a daughter-in-law of Congressman of South Carolina Thomas Pinckney. One niece Elizabeth Izzard married Alexander Wright 1751, a son of Loyalist Governor of Georgia James Wright Governor. 